Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another attempt at showing how I make some of my meals. So to all my subscribers who are watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who just happened to click on this video, thanks for watching. Okay, so tonight we are going to have um, make your own sushi at the table. So of course the first step is we need some sushi rice. So I have here some Kuhuko rice um, is California grown premium quality. As you can see, I got this at, at H Mart. Um, I keep in here in the bag, you know, a rice cup, not your standard cup that you would get like, you know, a Pyrex cup or something. This is a rice cup. Um, I'm going to make us three cups of rice tonight. Now, I have a very, very old rice cooker. Um, it's probably about 30 years old. I got it from my mom. And... You know, it wasn't new when I got it, so it's it's an antique. So this is the pot that comes with it. It's like an aluminum pan, I guess, but it's got markers in here. I don't know if you can see, um, but basically you take the cup, you fill it with rice. So in this case, I'm going to put three of these cup rice cups in here. And then after you wash the rice, all you do is fill it to the three marks. So this here, I don't know if you can see, is a two. And that's a four, so this line in between is the three. That's just the easy way to make rice. Um, you know, instead of on a stovetop, boiling, whatever. Just use a good old rice cooker and um, it comes out good every time. So that's the first step. I'm going to cook some rice before, um, you know, I season it up with some vinegar and sugar to give it that sushi rice flavor. Okay, so I have my rice in the pot. I'm going to go wash it in the sink now. Um, what I do is I put, put it on the running water and I just swirl it around and then I pour the water out and then put more, you know, put more water in, swirl it around and keep doing that until the water gets fairly clear. Because when you first start, it's cloudy and you want to, you know, get all that cloudiness as much as possible gone. And then once it's clear, then, or, you know, mostly clear, then you just fill it, like I mentioned, to the three line. All right, so I'm off to go wash some rice. Okay, so I have washed the rice. As you can see, it's a little clear. You should have seen how cloudy it was earlier. And I have it up to the, the line that goes in between the two and four. So I have three cups of water in there. So I'm just gonna slap the lid on and hit the power button and let it cook. So while the rice is cooking, I'm going to prepare all the other ingredients. Okay, so these are the ingredients I'm going to prepare for filling for our sushi. Okay, so first off, this is um, some imitation crab meat sticks, as you can see, we've used it. What I like to do is um, take out what I need, defrost it, because you you know it says here, keep frozen. So I take out what I need, defrost it, and then put you know the rest back. So as you can see, we've been using this pack. But this is um, kani sticks, it's, it's fish, but it has a sweet kind of crab taste, which we really enjoy. So I'm gonna make, um, like a crab salad out of this. I'm just going to put this with some kewpie mayo, maybe a little bit of sriracha for some heat. Um, here, uh, I didn't take it out soon enough, so it's my salmon. Um, it's just sitting in water to let it defrost a little bit. But it's this, the Fremont Wild Caught Pink Salmon, because I like to buy the bag of this and take out as many fillets as we need. So tonight, since you know we have other fillings, I didn't think we needed more than uh, three so i'm probably going to uh, cook this on the stovetop like pan fry it with um, a teriyaki sauce just a homemade teriyaki sauce um, and shred that up so we can have that and then i also have here the tempura shrimp um, this is the one that i buy from aldi um, it's like seven dollars i think it's just to, when i put it in my freezer because these are you know you keep in the freezer um the box is so unwieldy that I just take it out of the box and store it in the individual trays. So I have two trays. So I'm gonna cook these in the air fryer. These take maybe 10 minutes or less in the air fryer. Um, and they come out really crispy. So we're gonna have that. Then I have here um, the English seedless cucumber. So I'm gonna chop this up. I think I'm gonna chop it into little matchsticks versus coins. Um, so we'll see how that goes because I'm really not a good chopper. Then I have here, um, this is some frozen um, fish roe, which is like fish eggs. As you can see, we've used it before. So we're going to use the rest of this up. 
and another vegetable. I have some leftover classic coleslaw mix. It's just cabbage and um, carrots. So we're going to um, put some in a bowl so, you know, we can have that as well. And I forgot to take out um, the tuna because I'm going to make some Japanese style tuna salad. And here we go. The Chunk Late Tuna by Northern Catch that I buy at Aldi. Um, I'm going to drain this and mix it with kewpie mayo and some soy sauce and a little bit of the dashi bonito powder to make the Japanese style tuna salad, which I have some here, which I used the other day for lunch. So I'm just going to make one more can to add to my stash there. So that's everything that's going to be our filling for our sushi at the table. All right, so here is the cucumber. It's cut into, like I said, I'm trying my best to make like little sticks, nothing um, too big. And then to draw out some of the water, what I'm gonna do is take a pinch of salt, which I have right here. It's gonna sprinkle it over. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm gonna let it sit like this. So while I prepare everything else, so the salt can draw the water out of the cucumber and then, um, Right before I'm ready to use it, I'm just going to get like paper towel and try and squeeze out the excess water that the salt has drawn out. So I'm going to put this on the side, probably near the rice cooker, and work on everything else. All right, so here I have about nine sticks of the imitation crab meat, and they're all individually wrapped. So what I'm going to do is take these out, and I'm just going to um, shred, you know, cut cut it into smaller bits and shred it um by hand into the bowl and then I have here my ever popular QP mayo. I'm going to put that in, mix it up and then um, I'm going to taste it and see if I feel like having some sriracha in there you know to give it some heat and that's pretty much all you do for the crab salad. It's fairly simple. Okay so this is the crab meat that's been chopped into little pieces, shredded somewhat and I'm sure as I mix it with the mayonnaise I'm about to add, um, it'll break up into even smaller pieces. All right, so here is my crab salad. Um, with those nine sticks of imitation crab meat, I put in about two and a half tablespoons of the QP mayo. Um, then I tasted it and I thought it was missing something. So I just used regular soy sauce, not this brand, I just happened to use this bottle, um, but it's just regular soy sauce. I use about half a teaspoon just to give it a little bit of um, the savoriness because the crab meat is very sweet and the uh, kewpie mayo is very creamy. So I mixed that in and then I decided, yep, I wanted some spice. So since I wanted some heat, I added about two teaspoons of sriracha, which gives it kind of this reddish orange color. I know the meat is orange, but it gave it this little darker color thanks to a little bit of the soy sauce, but definitely from the sriracha. And while I was playing with the kewpie mayo, I made my um, Japanese style tuna salad. Like I said, I showed another video already. Um, it was a short video, but it's just a drained can of the tuna, um, a little bit of soy sauce this time instead of suyu sauce, a pinch of bonito uh, powder or dashi powder and mixed it all up. And so now I'm going to put all this away in the refrigerator and let it chill some more while I make the hot ingredients. Okay, so now I'm prepping the teriyaki sauce that I'm going to cook the salmon in. So I had more of this ginger that I bought. Um, so I broke off about an ounce. I peeled it with the edge of a spoon and I shredded it in this box grater, which by the way is an Aldi find. Um, if you can see in there, I have maybe about a teaspoon or two teaspoons at most of some grated ginger. And then I have the Kirkland minced garlic. Um, you know, you could use fresh garlic, but this is what I have. So I'll probably use about two teaspoons because I really like garlic. And then I have here the rice vinegar. This is not the seasoned rice vinegar, which is sweet. This is just the plain rice vinegar. So I'll probably put about a tablespoon of this in my sauce. Then I have here some mirin, which I think it's like a sweet rice wine or something. Anyways, mirin is sweet. So I'm going to put maybe like a quarter cup of this. And then uh, I have a bigger bottle, but I'm going to use uh, about a half a cup of soy sauce. So 
Um, that's like the base of the teriyaki sauce. And then I have here some light brown sugar, which is from Baker's Corner. Um, this I probably put maybe, I don't know, ta two tablespoons. So um, that's, oh, and sesame oil. Can't forget that. The best part is some sesame oil. I probably just put about a teaspoon because this stuff is very uh, flavorful, but it does add a nice... Um, uh, deeper, my friend calls it smoky um, taste, but I love sesame oil. So I just can put about a teaspoon in there. You don't need to too much. So um, I'm going to mix up my teriyaki sauce and then get started cooking the salmon, which has defrosted nicely in the water. Okay, before I get started on the salmon, I've decided I'm going to cook the tempura shrimp. So um, I have my air fryer here just warming up. It says 15 minutes, but I'm not going to run it the full 15 minutes. I'll probably run it for five minutes just to get it up to temperature. Then I'll throw these in and 10 minutes should be good. Um, I probably won't even need that, um, but you know, I'll check it in between, shake it up and see how it looks. So we're going to do this before we move on to the salmon. All right, so here is my... Um, tempura shrimp laid out nicely in the air fryer and I'm going to pop it back in for the at least or maybe 10 minutes we'll, we'll have to keep checking on it okay so here it is it's running 10 minutes and I believe yep 350 so we'll just kind of keep our noses primed to make sure we don't smell anything burning now it's time to work on the salmon okay so this is my um homemade teriyaki sauce it's got the garlic and the ginger floating around in there it's it's almost a whole cup so I probably won't need all that because I do only have three small pieces of fish here so I'm I have my pan here that um, I'm gonna heat up and I don't know if you can tell but I took some vegetable oil and a paper towel and just kind of rubbed the inside so that stuff won't stick and so now I'm gonna um, you know cook the salmon in there you know, brown it a bit and then put the sauce in there, turn the fire down, cover it, and just let it cook in the juice. Okay, we're at six minutes. Let's take a look. Hmm, looking pretty good. I don't know if you can tell. Let's shake it up. Well, I'll shake it up off camera, but it's getting nice and brown. So I actually, I'm going to take the time down just a little bit because I really don't want to burn my shrimp. So I took it down to four minutes. Um, I think that'll be plenty. Meanwhile, I gotta go check on that fish. I hear it sizzling. All right, so here's the salmon. Um, I browned it just a little bit. Then I poured only about half my sauce in there. Um, so it's coming up to boil. I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer. Okay, my air fryer is beeping at me, telling me it's done, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, I don't know how the camera's picking this up, but to me, it looks really good. So I'm going to take it. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it in here for a little bit to keep it hot. My air fryer does have a keep warm function. So I'm going to use that function for now because the big dog isn't quite home from work yet. So I'm just going to let these stay warm in my air fryer and then go check on my salmon. Okay, so this is the fish. Um, I turned it over and let it simmer on this side. Salmon don't take long to cook, so I think it's done. I'm going to transfer it to a plate and then um, deal with the rice. I'll show you how I make my version of sushi rice. And here is the pretty steaming salmon. So I'm just going to stick this in the microwave to keep it a little warmer. I think when we actually put it on the table, I'm going to um, break it up into smaller pieces um, because... We're not going to stuff a whole piece of salmon into a little piece of uh, seaweed and rice. So, but this is my teriyaki salmon. So I've transferred the rice out of the rice cooker pot into this big bowl so I can mix better. So you can see it cooked perfectly. It's so easy if you have a rice cooker. And you can also use the Instant Pot, but um, I've had this rice cooker, like I said, for a long time. And it always makes my rice nice perfect at least you know I like it sticky so um, this is the three cups of rice and because I have three cups I'm gonna put 
just under half a cup of this rice vinegar. Like I said, it's not seasoned, so it doesn't have the sugar in it. So I'm gonna put about half, half a cup, which I have in here. Um, it's a huge cup, but my other cup had the teriyaki sauce in it. Then I'm gonna heat this up, maybe like 30 seconds. I don't want it to boil, but I wanna get it warm. And then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of my salt. This is just, um, yeah, this is just sea salt, nothing too special. Um, teaspoon and a half of this. And then for this, uh, this is sugar. This is the Baker's Corner Sugar I was by. I actually think I found this container at Aldi. I am not 100% sure. Anyways, um, it's a great container. Um, it fits that four pound bag of sugar perfectly. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of sugar for every cup of rice. So since I have three cups, it'll be three tablespoons. So I have three tablespoons of sugar, about half a cup of uh, rice vinegar, and a teaspoon and a half of salt. And I got that measurement because I put about half a cup of, um, half a cup, half a teaspoon of salt for every rice cup. All right, so let me go heat up my vinegar and mix everything together. So I don't know if you can see that it is, um, steaming a little bit and I've added the three tablespoons of sugar and the teaspoon and a half of salt. I'm going to mix it up and try to get it to dissolve as much as possible and then pour it into the rice and mix everything up together. All right so I've mixed all the rice with the um the vinegar mixture as you can see it's empty now and uh, probably you can't really tell but you know it's um, quite moist because I added all that vinegar. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cover this with some plastic so it doesn't dry out, work on the cucumber, and I also forgot that um, we are going to have some country style kimchi on the side or maybe inside of our um, uh, sushi and I uh, will sh also show you the roasted uh, sheets of seaweed that I have that we're going to cut into smaller pieces and just you know have it so you can grab what you want fill it up and go so here's my cucumber it's been sitting this whole time while I've been cooking the fish and the shrimp prepping the rice so I have paper towel here what I'm going to do is put it into the paper towel I'm going to squeeze as much water as I can out of it and then put it into this bowl All right, so everything is ready to go. This is the teriyaki salmon that I kind of cut up into smaller pieces and I plated it with the tempura shrimp. We have just a little bit of coleslaw mix, you know, cabbage for um, a little bit more vegetables tonight. This of course is our sushi rice, which has been covered to stay nice and moist. Here are the um, sliced up cucumbers that I squeezed out as much water as I could. Here we have our country style kimchi. This is the crab meat that has been made into a salad with the um, kewpie mayo. This is my Japanese tuna salad. And, and we have here the fish roe, the stuffed fish eggs. And last but not least, I have our quarter piece quarter sheet size pieces of roasted seaweed. So we are going to have a very, very big hearty meal tonight. We were planning for um, Big Dog's mom to eat with us, but she canceled. So it's just the two of us, but that's okay. Um, what we don't eat, we will pack up and have for dinner tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Take care and stay safe. Bye.